Good morning, one and all. Purple Sky KT here. It is currently 7.24 a.m. I know that it's been a while again since I posted a video, but I'm trying to come up with ideas with what to talk to you about. And I think I should stick with the theme of bipolar because I rewatched my videos and it's a bit therapeutic for me. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. I hope you slept well. I hope you ate well. I didn't eat yet, but I will soon. I'm just going with the flow this morning. I wanted to record this video first before I did anything else, before I changed my mind and not record it at all. <laughs> and I really, really wanted to record a video this morning. So here I am. I want to talk about living with bipolar because it's something that I'm living with with this diagnosis. And um, it's very interesting to me because it's labor as a psychosis. And it took me a while to accept that word because it means that there's something different about you. I don't want to say wrong anymore. But then I think about those that go to church, <laughs> how they see, they see signs and they hear voices and stuff like that, but they don't have that psychosis. They have it under control. And that's what I think about myself. I have to admit that I had manic episodes. I actually had man manic episodes with a few of my videos here where I was saying things that weren't true, like how I understand what it means to be in love when I've never been in love before. I've been infatuated, definitely infatuated, but I've never been in a loving relationship where the guy and I were both in love with each other. It doesn't make me depressed or anything, but I wonder if it did at that time. So now I'm looking at being single differently that's what I realized. Like with the diagnosis, I'm looking at my life differently, questioning myself about my feelings, which I think matters. I need to know how I feel at the moment, at any moment, to accept my feelings and not pretend that they're not there, to be honest about who I am to myself, to the people that are around, that are around me. So that's why I even question about dating. You know, will I want to tell my partner that I am diagnosed as bipolar? How will they handle it? Will they think that I'm a crazy person? Will they think um, I can't handle myself? Or will they understand that my emotions is sometimes changes the way that it feels? I have a friend who I call Rosebud, she says she noticed the change in my emotions. But my best friend, Coffee, she doesn't notice it. <laughs> but I told her the truth, I don't notice it either. But I have to admit that I did have a manic episode. I had more than one. So that's why I still take my medication so that I that doesn't happen again and the medication is used for me to control my to is used to control my emotions which I guess is doing its job because I haven't had a manic episode in a while now I think it's been a year maybe two the last one I had came at me surprisingly I thought something wrong about a student. I thought a student had feelings for me, but he didn't. It made me feel weird. And I laughed horrendously. And then all of a sudden I couldn't control myself anymore. I felt out of control. And even though online it says that meditating helps and going through, going having a routine helps, I'll be honest with you, I don't really like having routines all the time. I haven't been meditating. It's been a week now. And it's not as if 
I'm not going to meditate anymore because I'm still going to do it. It's just I need to reevaluate what am I, why am I doing it? I needed a different relationship with meditation. I've been doing a lot of silent meditation. And so far, my mind, it just keeps thinking about different things. But I still control my thoughts, which is good. And I don't, my mind doesn't wander where I lose my breath. While I'm having the thoughts, I'm still focused on my breathing. But yeah, I haven't been meditating in a while and it's been okay. It's been all right. But I'm going to get back into it. And that's my plan. Because I love to meditate. It's something that I love to do. But my relationship with it has to change. So that I could be encouraged to do it more and more. So I'm going to do positive affirmations. Since I'm accepting my diagnosis. I think that's a good idea. So yeah. I think living with bipolar... Hmm. I still have a lot of questions, so I'm going to talk to my psychiatrist about it. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with me. And as always, I love you.